All the information on my banners is on here. You can look it up. Go ahead. Won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. If you like that, Brian. You can look it up. Do you get one? Okay. You can look it up. Thank you. All the information on the banners is on the card. You can look it up. You can look it up yourself. Sure. Another one? That's three for you. What are you doing here? Come on. I know you. Everybody get one of these? I did not. Okay. Thank you. I've got a couple of Because you don't know what, what control means. You're, I know, and I'm not saying you're a child. I'm just saying that you're not old enough. I've, today I'm 63. Okay. Okay, and I've lived through a life. I've been through the court system. I've been through a lot of crap. And it's all unnecessary, and they can control Wait, so all of that. Right. But they would have to literally get every single government on Earth to go, to go in on something They like all this. signed the freaking Antarctic Treaty. That Look doesn't into mean that. anything. It does mean that it we don't have a world space enemy. Programs. We do not have a world enemy. And did you know all the space programs are all the same? Did you know okay. that? I have a couple they all have the vector. Look at the, the symbol is the vector, the snake tongue. Yes, they do. Okay. Look at that. But still, that about the uh, sun and the moon. Um, so with the diagram that you have there, the purpose? Into this. just look at the diagram you have there and where and they, they go around. You. Uh, yeah. What happens during the solar eclipse? What is what causes that phenomenon? Well, okay. The only thing I can say about eclipses as is in ancient writings there is other orbs up there. There are things that we don't see. Did you see the last eclipse? I did. Yes. Okay. Did you see the ground? Oh, good. Did you see the ground? But maybe you couldn't see it. And oh, the uh, the crescents the, that yes, get projected. Yes. Yes. Yep. yep. So yeah, where did they all come from? That was weird. They were projected from the. Uh, yeah. So. From the light. So there's things that we don't know. I can't give you a definitive yeah, answer on everything. Okay, I have another question about the moon. Right, that's um, the disclosure right there. That's pretty much what you're saying. That well, you're listen. Saying. So, you, you so NASA it? just makes up something, and that's acceptable you know to you. That they make it up. No, we don't. But I think it's. Pretty I know safe one to say. thing. I know one thing that the ground is flat. I know that. Hell yeah. Oh God. So if you explain the logic, you stretch it out over however much like, surfaces on the area, there is some curvature, right? You have right? to look at it. you're on the beach and you look out in the ocean, you can't see the other side. Yeah. Why? Uh, because I'll the reason explain, that you said, because of the fog. Oh, oh yeah, she said, oh, yeah, when you're driving on a foggy night and you can't see too far ahead of you. Oh, no, no, no. That's, That's right. You look into it. Yeah, but when the moon set. It's very pretty. Did you get one? Here, would you like one? Do you like one? Here, you do like one? You can look this up yourself. Hello. He's. Oh, thank you. Somebody have an intelligent question. So how is the Earth flat? Yeah, but what? Okay. So. The thing is, it is. We have a curvature formula. There has to be a curvature formula. Forever, how far out you go, it has to drop. Okay, the curvature formula is right here. Sure. Why did somebody take it? There, let me smack him. So, so when I'm in Wildwood, I should not see Atlantic City 32.6 miles away. Because right there. You can't see past there the on the on the banners, you'll see Chicago across Lake Michigan, 60 miles away. That should be under 1,700 so feet. What about you the surface? Do you see the streets of Chicago, or do you see the? My dad was a pilot, and I, I uh, dated a guy who owned an airport. Yeah, I've flown a lot. And you know what? You know what I saw? The horizon is always at your eye level. No matter how high you go, it always comes up with you. It never goes down. Anywhere you stand on this globe, it should go down, and it doesn't. And we have the formula that shows you how far you should be able to see. So figure that one out. You tell me about it. What's your stance on No, we don't believe that there's anything pulling us to the center of a false globe. We think it's. that for a second? I personally think it's diamagnetism pushing us down. I do agree that things fall at a certain rate. But it's not so a pull, it's a push. Gravity, we live in a Taurus field. Here.
Man, I think you need to take a look at the scientists and look at the earth and look at the planet. And I think you need to know that they're all being paid. So why are we being taught in in school? But you figure that out. When you can figure that out, you'll know something. What about the church has tried to censor those scientists? That's what you're being told, isn't it? That's what I learned. Yeah, well, first off, first off, you tell me if the earth is flat or if it's a globe. Then you figure out the rest. You figure it out. Absolutely. There's a curvature formula. Okay. Did you get one of these? Uh, no, but I'll, I'll, take I'll, take one. One. I'll take one. Actually, I'm going to take one. Yeah, go ahead. Laugh at it. I don't care. Because the truth will set you free. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I would actually like one. The truth, you look at it. If you study this, you'll be smarter even if you don't accept it. Sure. Um, so even if, say if this is even true, what does this accomplish? Like, why are you trying to get kids? Well, to in order to believe in a spinning globe, you have to deny your senses. Why do I have to believe in a spinning globe? Why do I have to believe in a flat globe? Why do I have to believe in <laughs> Why do you have to believe in this? Because no, why do I have to believe in either? Any, why, why okay, it, well, this is what we're being taught. Yeah, I get it. Okay, but why does it matter? so I'm against what we're being taught in the why schools, they, which why is would a they lie. Want to teach us some bullshit? Because you have to deny your senses in order to believe uh, this. No way. Would so you're denying you know, yourself. You need to go look back at some of the scientists. She doesn't. She doesn't like to talk to me. That's I, fine. I no, because you don't. You don't stick to one thing. Go you're like all over the place. Because okay, everything's tied together. Walk away. Uh, 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 so, right, so, so let's, let's, so, so <laughs> let's go to you each sure, point and spend <laughs> solidly, See? theoretically. This is why. Just calm down, will you? So, I am. <laughs> so by, by your standards, no, I'm not pissed. We're denying our senses when we think that there is a round earth. Like we're denying something. This is a spinning ball. Does it benefit that's, that's Come here, let me show you something. <laughs> here. Right. Here, look at this. See this? You know what this is? Yes. What is it? Okay, there's Polaris in the middle. Okay. You can hold your camera there, open the aperture, you know, in the olden days when we had apertures. Okay. So you hold that open and you get star trails because it's spinning, turning around on top of us. This is what they teach in the schools. Okay. Okay, the Milky Way's moving, the sun's moving, all the planets are trying to catch up to it. That's what that blue spiral. You think we'd get this? I don't. You can agree with that if you want. You think no, you can I, say whatever I'm, you want. I'm not telling you what to say. But I don't believe it. Oh, my, my only question, ma'am, my only question is why does it matter? Like, why does it matter? Why, why, why okay. Do you, why do you want to go here? If you believe like, lies, all right, yeah. is that going to affect you in your life? I'm okay, someday you're going to get married and you're going to have kids. Do you want to know that those kids are yours? No, but long sure, earth. but I don't, I don't okay. think my reality of Does that make sense? I don't like lies. Lies are destructive. Right. Yeah, lies right cheat so. and corruption I mean, is, 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 makes people miserable. I don't want that in my life. I don't want it in my government. I don't want it in my schools. Do you understand so, so that? The, so the earth being round or flat. Every time I look at you, you talk. Stop. <laughs> so, the, so the earth essentially being round or flat. Ruins so, your game? like <laughs> ruins your life like you got one <laughs> yeah it does lies ruin your life they do what if you went on your whole life not even understanding that okay first off first off if you look at this and you say you know what the earth might be flat you know what and then you'll think well if they could lie to me about this then they could lie about everything well, what if they already are lying they are so like I mean what, what does it change what does it change? If you don't care about it, then it doesn't change anything in your life. That's what I'm saying. Like why? That's I, right. It doesn't care. change anything, so just forget it. I have a question. Well, so, so I'm guessing that accepting all this, we're going to assume that the moon landing didn't happen. No, it did not. not happen at all. Um, so if I take a precision laser. I can actually point it up to a very specific location on uh, what appears to be the moon. And um, if I point it anywhere else, it, the light will just scatter and I won't be able to pick up it. If you look up, there's a fake imagery. But if I project it to a very specific location where NASA claims that they put a reflective disc, I can actually get a laser to bounce back. Uh, so what is that situation that's happening? I don't think they did that. There may be something in the moon itself that they found that reflects back. But I don't believe we ever landed there and put a 
anything there. Okay. So you think it's a so it's a different. Did you get one of these? Okay. So look, I'm just presenting you a different, whole different thing. You have to figure it out for yourself what's true. What about the International Space Station? Does that not exist either? No. This is it. When they're in the ISS, they have either their vomit comet or they have uh, wires and harnesses, okay? But when they're outside, they're doing it in the... Uh, well, the they're doing it in the pool. We have bubbles in space. When you start looking into this, type in YouTube, type in Flat Earth, and you'll start getting a whole different set of videos. But uh, if I have a telescope, I can see light in the sky where they claim the International Space Station is. You see a light! Yes. Could it be a U-2 plane? It could, but they'd have to fly it 24-7. Well, or else they'll put it up there on the website when they're going to go past. Uh, no, they have a, a lot of times it's cloudy and nobody can see it anyway. That's a good point. So if it's flat, how long does that go out? Okay, the equator's 24901. So between the North Pole... Oh, wait a minute. So now if the, the equator's 24901... I don't know how wide it would be. They just keep going on if you, and on. If you, I know. Wait a minute. Captain Cook. Wait a minute. Captain Cook. He logged in 60,000 miles. Now, some people say it was a little bit more than that. But if Captain Cook went 60,000 miles across here. What's 60,000? What's the diameter of that? Divided by pi, right? 60,000 divided wait, wait, wait. by 60, pi. 60,000 miles around what? Around well, the, 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 the Antarctica. Miles. Did he, did he claim to find an edge, or is that just as far as he went? No, that's that's Antarctica. That's, okay. But Cadmiral Bird explored beyond the edge. So how far does Antarctica go out? Could that just be infinite? No, it's Keep going? too cold. We can't travel there. It's I don't honest. know that. No way of proving it. That's what I right? I can't tell you beyond Antarctica's uh, coastline. I can't tell you any more than that. You have so to figure you know these things out for yourself. What? How what? do you know that it just doesn't keep on going and the Earth is It is might. Forever? Some people actually think that. I don't. I think there's a dome. And the only like, livable spot is like the center of the circle, right? I think there's a dome and then it ends at the dome. Okay. That's the dome. Everybody get one of these? Sure. She doesn't believe that. So did no, you get she, one of these? I think she believes that this year, but not space. I don't know. There is no outer space. I don't think there Wait, is. So why, what are the stars in? Points of light. Okay. Points of light. That's right. And they're fixed. If you look into these experiments here, this proves this proves that the Earth is stationary and the stars actually move above us. That's how we get the star trails. Look into that. Where is it? Yeah, that's right off NASA website. Look it up yourself. Yes, she did. Did you get one? Yes, he did. Oh, I don't know. You want another one? Okay. Thank you. Did you give it to him? No, no, I have oh. never gotten. Here, Swiss. Him and later. All right. Look into this, guys. Really, so look into that. Why would people? Why would people lie? Why would the government lie yeah. to the people? Yeah, that's right. Okay. It's corrupt. Bro. Okay, you want? All right. Did you know that the kings never let the serfs read? Did you know that? Why? And educated people are hard to control. <laughs> the masters never let the uh, slaves read either because yeah. uneducated people are hard to control. That's all educated? about control. I like your Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's about control. And you guys haven't felt that yet because you haven't been like in the world paying the taxes and dealing with all that crap. Yeah, it's a lot. Brain waves in my head. <laughs> and I know it's going to hurt. How come the sun If you constantly take a picture. Here, you can know what. Oh, did you? Good. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's not going to hurt you to get the education. Did everybody get one? Okay, cool. Everybody get one? Here, guys. This is what we're talking about. No, you can look it all up on the website on the back. It's all the same stuff. Yeah, well, we have this website. I'm on here, and there's a bunch of other people on here. We've, uh, you can see, we've been down to Ocean City. We've been to Temple. We've been to Penn State Abington. I go all over. Do you have any, like, group meetups or anything like that? Yeah, we do. Cool. Yeah. Would you be interested in coming? I have a couple of friends who would probably be interested in that. Awesome. On my Facebook page, Flat Earth PA, I post them there.
When was your last one and where was it? Well, all through the summer we've been doing this activism instead of like sitting down at a restaurant. When we can get out and go do something, we'll do that instead. So um, that's what we've been doing. But like in the winter time, December through February or something, we'll, we'll have a restaurant meetup. Maybe in Quakertown. That's where we've been going. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool that you're coming out here and doing this. Thank you. How What's you your name? Uh, my name is Brett. Brett, Maryland. Cool. Nice to meet you. How do you how do you deal with like the? Like, I know some people are like, yeah, that's so cool. And some people are like, I don't, I don't want because to you have to understand that I was there too once. Okay, I was not a. I was uneducated or uninformed at one time, too. So I have to understand that they're not really mocking me. They're mocking the idea. So I have to love them more. That's so cool. You're an awesome person. Thank you. That's, and it's hard sometimes. It's really hard, but we got to love them. But, thank you, dear. You right, Jenny? You right? Everybody get a card? Did you get a card, guys? Sure. Yeah, Thank here, you. here, here, here. Take your own. Take your own. You. Yeah, yeah. Why is it not day everywhere? Great question. Yes, sir. If the earth's flat, why isn't it day all the time? Because, because there's no part of it that's not. Because light can only travel so far. I think that there's some things with the um, with the uh, speed of light that has to be looked into again. See this. When we come into this, there's going to be some things that might have to change. All right. Okay. Of they are telling us. That is 93 million miles away, and it's like 400 times bigger than the Earth. That's what I've been talking That's, about. Yeah, me too. Okay. But, you know, if it's smaller and it's like 9.3 miles above the surface, right. now that's a whole different subject, and isn't it? What's the it? diameter of the sun? It's, well, it's some people, right yeah, I, I can't it's guess at that. It's got to be pretty small. Yeah, it is. It is. It's bright, but it's small. And there's a difference between the sun and light. Yeah. Okay, because of the dome. Right. Now, I know you don't know about there is a dome, actually. There's what? If you look up lightning sprites. Lightning sprites. Okay, they come off the dome. Did you get one of these? Yeah. Okay. So, lightning sprites come off the dome. Okay. And, uh, and you'll is see that. Is it like that. a dome surrounding the earth? Yes. It's, it's like, like, it's like an upside-down right salad bowl right on top of here. Okay. So as like far as we know, that's what it is. It goes down in Antarctica somewhere. So, like you go down to Antarctica. Which they don't let you do. Yeah. Anymore. So there's the ice. Yeah. And at some point there's and a dome. At the some point there's okay. the edge of the dome. That's what we are saying. Uh, so, we think Admiral Byrd found that in the 50s. And that's when they quickly came up with the Antarctic Treaty and had 53 countries see, sign on to that. I've heard a number of different things. And about keep what people Admiral away. Oh. See, because I've got people telling me the Nazis went down there and he found them. Yeah, they had a base or something there. I've heard that one. Yeah. Well, I, I've heard I a lot only about teach. This Admiral Byrd. I only teach to the edge of Antarctica because I really don't know what's beyond there. Yeah, I'm not convinced the Nazis made it, to be honest. Yeah? I don't think their situation was ever viable to get all the yeah. way down. Well, there. guess who was the first board of NASA? <laughs> that was... Werner Von yep. Braun from the Nazis. Yeah, we picked him up. Yeah. Well, actually, it was Operation Paperclip yep. where we brought Grabbed a bunch of scientists over here because I think they were really on to something. You think? Yeah. And also... Did the Soviets do it? No. Because ever since the Antarctic Treaty, there has never been a legitimate war. I know that for a fact. Did you get one of these, honey? Yeah, I actually had a question. Okay. I've been thinking about, like, the things and stuff, and I was wondering, are the other planets, like, flat, too? The reason that you ask about other planets is because you believe in the Big Bang. The Big Bang sent all this material out there, and it started spinning, and then the friction made them all into balls, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't so, know anything about the Big Bang. There he goes again. I, I should never look at him. He tar starts talking. I don't know. Every time he talks. Every, Every time. time. Try to, like, debate religion. Right. So, going nowhere. <laughs> so right, yeah, so we don't think there's like other the planets ground. like terra firma. They're not like 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 <laughs> ground. It's just a light, a fixed light in the sky. Because when you look in a telescope, all you can see is two dimensional. You can't see the back. So we don't really know that, and so I don't really talk about the planets. All that's all I say. Yeah, that's understandable. You, I mean, really. Yeah, that's so much. Wait, the planets aren't real. Well, it goes around. It goes around. Now we have videos from people all over the all over the world. Okay, I almost did. You're right. It's a habit. 
Wherever, what? She's an ass. So anyway, surface exposed. Even if the sun, I'm tipping my fingers, sun. Even if it was going around here, all points of the earth would experience it's local. at least some brightness. It's a it local. Would, yeah, but she says it's nine point three It's miles a local out. light, and it's very small, and it's very close. So somebody miles here. Miles that's yeah, what I. Well, that's we, my we guess. Travel higher than, wait, that's my do, guess. How do you okay, that? so you want to see some uh, videos? No. We have a video of an airplane that took a picture of the sun in the clouds from above the clouds. You start looking into flat earth videos and you're going to see a whole lot of so other stuff. Here this this is is Did you get a card, so sir? Did you get a card? Yeah, if I took a picture of the sun. Like Did keep you get one? Wait, are you talking this about the great. sun? I will come yeah, back. Yeah, she said it's only nine If you get somebody to sponsor me, I will come back and be inside. Oh, I have some affiliations. I can Okay. Anytime. You can contact me through the website. I mean, I like the sun and all, but like, I don't get it. So when it's nighttime, and the world is flat. How is the sun like? You can't see because of like the yeah, water in the atmosphere. It's only 9.3 miles up, and I guess see, all, like, it only goes so far. Even looking straight down, you can only see a thousand feet if you look straight down into a clear ocean. Okay. So, like, because I'm it occludes. Make a point, and then you guys can talk about that. I'm, this is crucial. Come on, I've been trying. Do to you get know this guy? Get rid of him. <laughs> right, if, if the sun is only 9.3 miles up, right? All right, so say you take a picture of it, right? And you measure it from the picture. And then you travel like as high as you can up and you take a picture of it again. It would be huge, but in reality, that picture would only be a tiny bit bigger. The second video on this web link. You know why? Because it's very, very far. Anyway. The second video is called a uh, Time Lapse of the Sun. Watch that one and you'll see. All I can see, tell you is the sun is will, not 9.3 miles up. That's a fact. You will see. The sun is not 9.3 miles up. The sun up. will like, shrink. We could travel like at least a couple miles up and the sun is still the same size. It doesn't get any closer. It gets, it gets a couple miles closer. Not like the U2 plane? U2 planes? So Did you get one space, of these? So the Come on, look it up. A true scientist cannot reject evidence. You're saying that it's flat, correct? Turn it over. Okay, sure. We'll say this is zero. Okay. Yeah. So, obviously, we have a moon that's right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, here's the flat. Um, say we're standing on it like this. How come the moon would have to be above us, correct? The what would? The moon would have to be above us. Right. Right. So, my question is that during a lunar eclipse, when the Earth casts a shadow on the moon, uh, it can cast a spherical. It's a circular shadow. Despite the moon being in different positions around the Earth, it always casts a circular shadow. How is that possible if the Earth is okay. Well, first off, we don't think that the Earth ever gets in between the sun and the moon. All right. There's another. All right. Just wait. Wait. So. We have the moon and the sun coming around here. Okay? So, in ancient writings, there are things called other heavenly bodies. They were named Rahu and Ketu. And there are, might be more, I don't know. Okay? And I know you don't believe this, and that's okay. But we think that another heavenly body gets in front of that. Now, I'm going to give you one other explanation here. Okay. They say there's a red spot on Jupiter. Yeah. Okay? And they say that because that red spot goes from the left to the right, that that proves that Jupiter is rotating. I don't think so. I've talked to two astronomers. Is that okay. And they say uh, that that's, what they, that's how they say it's orbiting or uh, rotating. And I say that it's a red translucent orb just moving from the left to the right. But you, okay, Wait, but, the my point, but my point, you use divine intervention to counter my point. That's not, yeah. You're calling yourself a scientist, you can't point to divine intervention. Yeah, so so well, you don't have the scientific evidence to say that the Earth is in between the sun and the moon. Yes, I do. No. Because there's... Uh, the sun and the moon are up in view at the same time. Yes. Wait, what are asteroids? So, how far is the moon from us? About, about the same distance, <laughs> but not exactly. So they're like rotating like this? Now? Yeah, but did you know the moon crosses the equator 26 times a year? Or 24? Yeah, we just figured that out. Okay, so the equator is on your Where asteroids come from? Apparently they don't exist because space I don't know that they do. So I don't know that. The, the equator on the flat map is about the same as it is. Yes. Right? And the sun's above that and your orbit's around. Yes. Okay. And it goes from 
Now, Capricorn would be much bigger. Okay, yeah, yeah. And Cancer, a little smaller. Yeah, it would be a small circle. Yeah. Inside. Okay. Yeah, did you ever see Capricorn 1, that movie? No. Look that I, one up. No. Look that, I just bought it because I wanted to see it. It shows yeah. how they snuck the astronauts out. Okay. How long have you been It's awesome. I started studying flat earth two and a half when years ago. When did you gain your suspicions? Two and a half years ago. What, made what, what you, kind uh, of tipped you off? Uh, did you get a card? What made you, uh, two and a half years ago, and I said, this is crazy. And then I looked into it, and I couldn't sleep for a couple weeks. Listen, there are so many points, but there's at least... Then you have to deal with that, huh? Each and every you single You have to one. deal with That's that. That's why it cannot be proven. You well, can I can I can prove uh, I NASA's a lie. Oh, yeah, there's wait, no... Wait, so you're telling me if you walk all the way Yeah, yeah, the government does lie, but lie to us all the time. But why would they lie to something about... Like something this? so small and insignificant. Control. No, no, no. It's, it's about control. They want no, no, us... No, it would be insignificant to our lives. This doesn't, like, concern like anybody. Big whoop here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the government lies about... Well, when you get older, and I'm not saying you're kidding, Kids, but when you get older out in the world and you have to deal with some of the crap out there and it really affects your life, then you'll say, they're lying to me. Yeah, tons of things. Yeah. 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 What? Why? Why would it matter if they're lying to us or not? You don't want that? You can keep it. We're all just like living in Oh, very good. My ex-girlfriend wasn't flat. I'll give you that. So anybody else have some questions? Really, it's okay. We can talk about it. Hey there. Are you police uh, or your security? I'm, I'm a security guard. Okay. Yeah. Did everybody get one? Uh, you can have you. your own personal card. Personal? Yeah. Wait, do you believe the earth is flat? Do you believe that the earth is flat? Hello, ma'am. Would you like one of the cards? This is what we're talking about. Thank you. You're welcome. I believe it's round. Thank you. Like a pizza. Yeah. Like a pizza. Like you pizza. You said, um, there's like a picture or something of like here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yo. So all these organizations, the United Nations, World Health, ICAO, WMO, and IMO, all in their files, this is the map that they have. It's a flat, and it's Earth. What proves it? You know what? Why, why would they carry around a globe in their in their like binders and backpacks? And no, there's different maps. There's different maps. You've seen flat know, maps but, of the globe. Yeah, but it's all like yeah, one. yeah. But they leave off Antarctica. Why'd they do that? Wait, you're saying Earth is flat, but why is the globe in your that, Because it's for demonstration. Because all these nations yeah. are the ones that you when see whenever you stand on the globe, Antarctica, if you go out, matter, it drops. So we have a formula for that, which is on the back of your card there. That's the formula, curvature formula. So you have to find cur curvature somewhere. You go to Wildwood next time you're going on a wild friend, you know, trip with your friends and look and see if you can't see Atlantic City, which is 32.6 miles away. And then you say, how can I see Atlantic City when it should be hidden under 681 feet? That's a 68-story building. So you figure that out. And then ask yourself, what's going on? Mm. She got me stumped. I'm stumped. Now. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> All right, we got to go to another point. We'll come back to that. Well, I think there is some stuff going on down there because you know what? They go down. So, uh, Senator John Kerry went down there and they had a religious ceremony. They do our, they're doing religious ceremonies down there. What are they doing? I want to know. I don't know what religion goes to Antarctica, you know. <laughs> He's videotaping me. I am too. I'm videotaping him. Yeah, with the phone. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know what religion Hi. does in Antarctica. <laughs> but, like, I've never been Wait. part of an Antarctic list. <laughs> so, yeah, what? So there's something going on in the Antarctic. There is, and I don't know. I, you know what? Like They're talking out. about... Um, like I personally don't want to go there because I don't think I'd ever come back. Yeah, I mean, obviously nobody wants to be the first to walk They killed the a couple people yeah. already down there. I get so, that, so if there's like a government conspiracy... Yeah, they would, they're hiding it for some reason, and there's talk of giant skeletons and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. You say the Earth, but is there any width to Earth then? 
Well, we dug a hole eight feet deep, and that's as far as we know. Eight feet deep? I mean, not feet, I'm sorry, eight miles. <laughs> eight miles. <laughs> Yay! That's dumb. Eight miles deep is the farthest we dug. Something like that. But then in, in Siberia, there's Lake Baikal, yeah. which is 400 miles of flat. So we don't I mean, believe in science, but we believe in math? You don't believe anything. You test it, and you get... We still need math and science to test it. Look. Yeah. Consistent, cons observable, testable, predictable. Yeah, that's the scientific method. You have to apply the scientific method to everything you do. Don't just believe somebody in a lab coat. Really, you got to test it yourself. Know it for yourself. Yeah, know it yourself. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, if you believe that the Earth is flat, why do you have a circular globe? For, for demonstration. And, and to, to beat smart out kids with. <laughs> I understand we're no, but you know, this is curvature. I'm demonstrating curvature. Wherever you go out, you have to go down. Mm -hmm. And on the back here, it says curvature formula. That's what she's saying. Yeah. Or flat as in with features three-dimensional. No, and there's mountains and valleys. No, there's mountains and valleys. And if you take off all the water, there's a lot more valleys. Now, you know what else? If the earth, the earth is flat, then that kind of makes the uh, the world flood a little more logical, doesn't it? So, yeah. here's, okay, I'm here's a question. I'm do you believe now. that every any other planet is also flat, or do you believe that Earth is the only one? Yeah. It's what? Is other planets? Do you, yeah, when we see them orbiting no, around, we don't just see one side of it. Yeah, you There's see... Features, no, like what? Like what? Like no, the, the red spot? I, I already explained a red spot. Did you miss that one? Look at the fucking beavers. We think there's other orbs up there. Well, we see, do we not see different sizes of planets beavers. that we see? Look at the fucking Nintendo Wii. And if we don't, why would... Wait, do we not see the different sizes of the planets? Or are they just circles? No, I think you only see one, and I think... Wait, so they're just like going like, why would they... What you're seeing... Why would they be facing us no matter what? A lot what? of it is, is, is enhanced. So you don't get to see it, really. Would you believe it? No, that one doesn't make sense. Would you like believe it then? Is that like how the only way you could believe it? What? If it was a spaceship. I would never go in a spaceship. You know why? Because then you'll be proven wrong. No. They're bringing you right to a Hollywood studio. No. Because, because I would never come back. Would you fall off the earth? Damn. They kill people. How do you explain GPS? How do they get money from lying about How do they get? How do you explain that? How do they? If the government lies to us, why would they lie? None of this would happen. They would have to get literally every single government in on this. If they wanted not to just the American. If Look they up the Antarctic Treaty. Space launch, they the Antarctic Treaty. The Antarctic Treaty has nothing to do with the Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. How do you explain satellites? It's only to do with the Antarctic Treaty. That's it. Look up, look up the Antarctic Treaty. Point number all the governments in the world, all the governments are in cahoots with each other. All the governments are together. Yep, they are. There's a lot of thinking going on here. I want you to appreciate that. Because these kids are really thinking. And it's very important. I think studying this... Can I give you one of these, ma'am? I think it's very important that this provokes thought. How, how does my phone get GPS? Ground-based positioning system. Uh, Ground, that's, that's not, not global. That's not how it works. You, you, need, you, need a trigger, you need three different points at least. So we have to it's all ground-based. It, it, could, it couldn't be. Okay, then you look into this. Type in flat earth first, and it gives you a different video. It, it, it's just, it just couldn't be. Uh, I understand it, so what it, you're it, saying. It, 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 we, don't, we didn't have that stuff before. We don't have a clear line of sight. Don't start up here. Start here. Start on the ground. Uh, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, how do you explain seasons? Oh, that's easy. The sun is small. And it's very close, like 9.3 miles. Okay. <laughs> See? That's okay. That's all right. It takes some people a little bit longer to get rid of their indoctrination. Do yourself a favor and do some actual hard research, please. I've been studying this two and a half years. My dad was a math teacher. That's so long. My dad was a math teacher. He flew off aircraft carriers. My son was a physics major. Okay. 
what else so he should know about gravity then i believe that things fall i don't believe we're being pulled i believe we're being pushed okay. by diamagnetism diamagnetism in a torus field look that up so you believe the uh ma'am can look it up yourself Ma'am, so you believe the uh, the Earth is surrounded by an ice wall, correct? Yeah. Uh, so what? So what gives the idea of a North Pole and a South Pole? Do you not believe in that? Do you know how a car speaker works? Yes. Okay. So the North Pole is in the one pole. Yes. And the rim is the other pole, and that's how the paper vibrates in between. So, in theory, do you believe in? Did you get one? Do you believe in global warming? What does that have to do with anything? No, no, I'm just, I'm just, the ice, the ice wall. I'm just, I'm just saying, do you believe in global warming? I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm trying to... I think that there's cyclical fluctuations. Fluctuations? I don't believe that it's all going downhill, all, all right, getting so warmer. Let's, let's theorize that the earth is warming up at a very extreme rate <laughs> and that the ice wall is melting. Now, okay. Let's, let's, let's just say this is this is a hypothetical. It sure is. Yes. Okay. The ice wall is melting because the Earth is getting hotter. So would you say that the um, that since the ice wall's disappearance might affect the water of the Earth, it might fall yeah. all out? No, right. I'll fall all out. It's going to rise. It's about 300 feet that ice wall. The Antarctic coast is about 300 feet high. All right. Okay. So do that over the whole area of the flat plain. So you're saying that the ice wall would never melt? Oh no, it could! So I'm just saying but that, I'm saying so the water would never spill over. That, that's, even if the ice wall is I don't think it's enough. You don't I think don't, it's enough? I don't think it's enough water. Why don't you calculate it? So, if, so the disappearance of the ice wall will not, will not let all the... I don't know how to explain it. So like, you, like, like, are you trying to just figure out how you can mock me on this or no, no, like I'm the not, turtle, asking, you know, I'm there's a turtle genuine, flying around. I'm asking or, a genuine question. I know everyone here is kind of mocking and stuff like no, that. No, it's all right. I don't mind, question. but try to but make it, it a good question. That's everything we, we believe, right? That's pretty much the thing. Hey, I was raised on the heliocentric model myself. I was raised on that. I, I guess my question would be like, so what about, what about when they show the earth? Up in space in the short run. They're they're telling you CGI. That's computer generated images. They have to listen, hold it. Did you know they call it image from space? Image? Yeah, yeah. They have to legally call it that because it's not a picture. Computer generated images. So gravity, you don't believe it, yes? Uh, you think I so. believe things fall things, yes, things and fall. the rate, but it, we're not being pulled. We're You're being, being pushed that down. my theory is we're being pushed by the Taurus field diamagnetism. Do you know the, the speed at which we are being pushed? All down? things relative on the earth are the same. Right. Now, one of the theories for a flat earth, why gravity is here, is because like, right, if you have a big disk of an earth and everyone's chilling on it, gravity is here because earth is traveling upwards at That's a the rate. Flat Earth Society, and that is a controlled right, opposition. A Do you know why Mr. Obama said it three yeah, times right? in three different speeches? He said Flat Earth Society because he was mocking it, and he wanted everybody to think that that was legitimate, and it's not. Hey, that is a government-run organization. You have to know how... How corrupt our government really is. So who is supporting? Yeah, the government is very corrupt and it lies. But why would they lie Who's to what? us about like a matter like this? Do you have an organization? Why would this yeah. organization support any of us? Like, yeah. was an we don't, we don't, don't, don't have an organization. Don't we are, are all individuals. Like? Yeah. But uh, that's one of our websites. We also have a conference in November, uh, ten days from now, mm-hmm. or two weeks. So, all right. If someone were to actually provide enough sufficient evidence to disprove from your theory, would you be open to it? Sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. At the, at, at some Do you like point. a card? Let me get these guys. This is what we're talking about, guys. It's what we're talking about. You're not all right unless you know we're on a flat plane. I just have to say that. <laughs> well, yes, but there might be some things that have to be challenged. Okay. Maybe the speed of light, maybe some things that would relate to a globe. 
and not to a flat plane. I'm, a, I'm just full disclosure. I'm a geologist. Yeah. I'm a planetary geophysicist. Okay. So I worked for NASA for two years. Yeah. And I studied Mars and the geology of the rocks on Mars. Okay, cool. So, like, I completely, I believe that perspective is a an issue here you know like our perspective in space and time and looking at things like black holes and neutron stars i mean do you guys believe in those phenomena i personally just teach what i can see and know here i think uh, black holes are you can find them when you study magnetics yeah yeah. Electromagnetic fields. Yeah. So I think that's where they kind of got the idea. But it's like... But so in, every... when you study space, there's a whole lot of assumptions that you have to take. Oh, I totally agree with that. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of reject that, like, what area. What about the sun? Okay. The sun uh, is not 93 million miles away, and it's not a ball of flaming gla gases. What's the... Okay, I'll tell you what I think personally. Okay. I think it's diamagnetism instead of gravity. Okay. I think we live inside a torus field. Okay. So the electricity comes up out of the North Pole, and then it comes up and around like a, a donut. Yeah. You have a little hole in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. It excites the elements in the lower atmosphere. Here, here. I hate to say atmosphere because it's not a sphere, but atmos here, me, and then it comes up and around, hits the dome, okay. and it goes through the the filament, which is the sun. I think it's a filament, and the free flowing electricity up there goes through the sun, which is a filament, and that it's a positive charge. Then the moon is like a negative charge because they emit two different kinds of light. Did you know that? Well, yeah, but they're yeah. not. They're, they're One mirrors is, or shades of each other. Uh, They're based on the same type of energy. Well... Because ultimately energy is all the same thing. Okay. Whether it's like gamma radiation versus radio waves, like fundamentally energy is moving molecules. And we can prove that like here or in space. All right. So now you're going beyond what I have studied. Okay. So I don't... Like photonic I can't, light energy. Okay. So I think that the, the sun's rays are warm and the moon's rays are cold and putrefying. And we have tested that. What do you mean by that? Well, if you test the moonlight against the moon shade, how do you do that? The take a. We have digital thermometers and we have photographers, photometers. Okay. The photon energy okay. of the light. Okay. So we you test the moon light against the shade at the dark when yeah, it's like a full moon. But that's the same thing as like reflecting light off a rock and looking at that light that came off the rock. It's not a primary source, it's a sec secondary photonic source. So no, of it's no. Be if less. you hold this and you just get the moon light straight to the recording device it will be colder in the moonlight than it is in the shade well, because it's, it's lost entropy because of physics okay because you lose okay so you're saying that's source. true because it's reflecting the sunlight okay so you're oh you're saying it's reflecting sunlight and we kind of think it doesn't what but you can see it. We think it has its own light, and you know whether it is or not reflecting. So now you're saying that the moon produces its own energy. There's nuclear I, fusion occurring in the moon. Uh, no. Well, that's we don't believe that there's nuclear fusion in it's the just sun. Magnetism? No, it's just electricity going through a filament, like a light bulb. So what's the source? What produces the energy in the first place? The free-flowing electricity from Tesla had discovered. So it's a Tesla coil. Uh, possibly, that's... possibly. Okay. And so the moon and the sun are both. There is free flowing electricity. You know that, right? Well, yeah, it comes from the sun okay. and it hits us. No, it comes from the Taurus field. You mean the magnetic field? You want to hear? This? You want to hear? There's this free flowing. It's electromagnetism. Electrism. Uh, so electromagnetism. So we're talking about ionized particles in the Earth's core creating magnetic field around. I can't say yes or no to that. All I can say is this is. The Taurus field is my theory, but I'm it's being studied. Okay. So I'm just giving that as a possible explanation for diamagnetism, which is holding us down, not pulling us down like gravity. Okay. It's pushing. Then, well, like, what about if you go to the top of a mountain or the bottom of the ocean or Death Valley even? Okay. And where those? So you're, you're, how does that change then during the Taurus field? Because there's a different, like the visible mass difference, or not mass difference, the weight difference, whether you're like on Mount Everest or at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Right. So how does that magnetic force, because it's not gravity, right? It's uh, biomagnetism. Do you believe in the ether? Yes. Yeah. Ethos? Okay. Ether. Like ether as the in... The ether, as in like theory... No, theory of relativity, yeah. where Einstein rejected the ether. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's something Aristotle Okay, well, we believe the ether. So you believe Aristotle and Plato? Okay. We Is it believed, the same people who... who we believe Tesla. 
We are Tesla people. But Tesla built on the properties that, like, the people before him developed. Like, we're not Copernicus and Kepler and Galileo. I think Tesla was a man with very unique studies. I don't think I'm not he's... Anymore, but I was. What is this? No, I don't think he's being portrayed as he actually oh, I was. Oh, I think Einstein... I think Edison totally stonewalled him and stole his stuff. And I believe and he was And J.P. Morgan said, where do I put the meter? Because no. Tesla wanted to give us free electricity. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think J.P. Morgan, the Rockefellers, they stole... They're all creeps. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. And they ruined free energy for people. Did you ever watch this video down oh, here? I've watched... I've, I'm very familiar because I've had students who say to me, how do I talk to my parents about this or my, like, brother about it because um, I don't, like, see... So you're not a flat earther, though. I'm not. <laughs> so then how can you instruct somebody how to tell them? I don't. Oh. I said that, you know, you're going to... People fundamentally will have a belief system in whatever they do. Yeah. I've been around... I've been all over the world. I've, I've worked for NASA, like... And yes, it could be a giant hoax. I know... I, I'm yeah. aware I've talked to people about this. And am I completely... As a scientist, like, I can say that... Is it potential? Is there some giant conspiracy? I mean, there might be. My experience in life and what I know about physics and the way things work here and on Mars, I mean, I've never been there. But see, you're, you've really kept your head up, like, in the sky and... Well, Not really. No. I'm also so religious, so, and I believe in metaphysics. Okay. And I believe in did you energies ever test, and wavelengths. Did you ever test for curvature anywhere? Yes. How did you do that? Using the angles of the sun and the earth, and using a bunch of na the natural ways the Greeks did when I first learned how to do it, out in the field. What, Aristosthenes, or what? Yeah. Oh, With no, the no. The earth. The, well, look, at, if you have the, the earth, which is a 24,901 equator, and we have the math down there, you can see how with Pythagorean theorem, we came up with a formula of eight inches times a mile squared. Okay? Yeah. So when I'm in Wildwood, I shouldn't see Atlantic City 32.6 miles away. It should be hidden under 681 feet of curvature. But you don't take into account light and reflection. Yeah, it does. Because we have, look, over there we have uh, Chicago, over 60 miles of Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. And we can prove that's an actual photograph. There's no light refraction and, and fraction involved because yeah. they got in a speedboat and took two hours and went all the way across with their video cameras and nothing changed. So it wasn't that. But this is the classic thing that the Greeks had an issue with, which is why they believed in a helios of uh, geocentric universe. But it's because of the curvature with perspective, it's all wrong. Like when you shrink down. What your about history? perspective? What did you say? What about the perspective? When you shrink down perspective, the things become less important. Which the parabolic, the parallax, the whole thing they argued with. with parallax. Parallax. I know. I understand what it is, but what has 